Gagama Rugin is one of the most appreciated characters in Blue Lock. Unlike some other characters, he doesn't do anything special except being a good at player. But it is actually that chill nature that makes him so appreciated amongst the community. In today's video, we are going to be discussing his abilities as well as his character. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers, but only sub to me if you enjoy the content that I put out. This time, let's try to get this video to 200 likes for a Raichi video. You can let me know in the comment what you think about Gagamaru's character. You can also give me criticism or character suggestions for future videos. With all this out of the way, let's get into it. Gagamaru has a great and athletic body as well as naturally long limbs. On top of that, his flexibility and reflexes are insane. Combining all of this together, he has the ability to block all sorts of shots, making him one of the best goalkeepers in the series despite only starting about a month ago. With feats like blocking a shot from Shido Ryusei after misreading the trajectory of the ball, he was able to change position meter to block the shot with his foot. He then blocked Ryo's copy of Rin's outside spin during the U20 game, that not even Aiku could react to. I know it was a very nerfed version and Gagamaru had already seen it before but it's still very impressive. He even managed to block a stealth kill shot from Baro. While Gagamaru had great abilities to be a striker or even a defender, his reflexes and explosive reactions made him one of the best goalkeepers, even in a short amount of time. Which is very special because Blue Lock only had so many people that could play as goalkeepers. Even though Hiemon sacrificed himself in the first selection and was able to block shot when he mattered the most, he still wasn't that good at it. Gagamaru's abilities are so great that he's able to be one of the best goalkeepers without having goalkeeper experience. His stats are simply too high, so the moment he gets some experience and gets more comfortable at reading the ball, he will become an even bigger monster. His flexibility ability also led to great shots and great blocks. But that is basically all we can say about his abilities, now we need to talk about his character. Gagamaru is a very strange person. Unlike for example Isagi that only wants to be a striker or to be the best, Gagamaru seems very happy with whatever he has as long as he gets to play or to be included. For example, he didn't even care when he got nominated as a goalkeeper for the U20 game. He was a little surprised but he didn't have any problem with it. Any other character, even those who wouldn't be dramatic about it, would have some type of thoughts. But he simply accepted his role and didn't even question it. Gagamaru's motivation is always to do the job that is assigned to him. Once again, let's take for example Isagi. Every time Isagi gets a cool moment or makes a mistake, you always see him think about it, reflect on it, try to be better and do all sorts of things. Always thinking about his goal to be the best striker in the world. Gagamaru's only worry is to do his job. Every time he sees a dangerous shot coming, he doesn't think I need to prove that I'm the best. He thinks I need to block that shot because that is my job and that is what I'm supposed to do. Usually, this would seem like a boring character to a lot of people. Because he doesn't look like he has any sort of motivation, he doesn't complain about anything or doesn't do anything special. Gagamaru is simply there and we don't see anything about him outside of a game. But on the contrary, this is actually what makes his character. Gagamaru is very unique for somebody that is such an environment. Him never having any sort of problem with anybody. Him never arguing with anybody. Him simply being funny and minding his own business. There is literally nothing about him to dislike. You can say he has no ego, but not everybody will have the same type of ego. And that also makes for good writing. Not everybody has the same personality, and Blue Lock does a very good job at depicting that with most of his characters. You have Ryo that isn't very strong minded, but that makes his character even better. You have people like Nagi that has a lot of potential, but that is somewhat ruining his potential. And you even have early Kunigami who wanted to do things fair and square and win by the rules and things along those lines. Everybody is different and has different motivation. On their own, some characters may seem boring, but by comparing them to the rest of the cast, it makes them very different and unique. Like I don't think I've ever seen any Gagamaru hate. Of course there are some people that aren't big fans of him, but that is fine, everybody got different favorite characters, but I've never seen anybody say Gagamaru is either poorly written, trash or anything along those lines. Because there's just nothing wrong with his character. Even his backstory is very cool. While we do not know too much about it, we know that he grew up in the forest and that at some point he had to fight a bear and he ended up wearing his skin. He's the type of character that is very mysterious but at the same time you do not really care to know what exactly happened. You find whatever information you already have about the character. We know that he had a difficult childhood and great survival skill and we don't need to know anything more than that. Of course getting the full backstory telling us more in depth what happened in the forest, they could even let us know how he ended up living in the forest or even I ended up leaving that forest but it isn't even mandatory information. Another fact is that Gagamaru's design is very nice and simple. It is very unique without doing too much. 
whether we're talking about his build or even his hair. He also has a pretty lazy face that lets us know that he doesn't care too much. But with all this aside, Gagamaru is also one of the most realistic characters in the series. He is the sort of character that we can relate to the most. And same goes with Sendo. While we see characters like Isagi or Itoshi Sai only care about one thing, and even Sai blaming Sendo for caring about the rest, it seems cool and everything. But in the end, we're all like Sendo. Even the best professional footballers, they have a life outside of the sport. They have a wife or they're dating somebody, they have kids, they enjoy other things than just football. And Sendo is the perfect representation of that. But in an anime that is just talking about ego, Sendo seems like a pretty weak person. The same goes with Gagamaru. A lot of people do not even care about much, as long as they get to play or to be included in anything. Some professional players do not care that much either. They are just enjoying the sport. And if they were to understand that switching position would be the best for their career, they wouldn't even hesitate to do it. Blue Lock shows most of his characters under that light that there is only one possible way to succeed, that they need to stop caring about everything else, they need to focus on football, they need to be the best striker or the best of whatever they're doing. But it would actually be boring if everybody had that same motivation. Individually, no blue lock character would be boring, but as a whole, it would just seem like they're all the same person, which simply isn't realistic. In any environment, some people can take a little job serious, some people can take a video game serious, and some people can be professional athletes and not care too much. While they care about their talent and their career, they still enjoy other things in life, and they don't necessarily care about being number one, as long as they get to enjoy the game, make money, or even get famous for some people. So in any environment, no matter how extreme the environment may be, not everybody will have the same mindset. And Gagamaru is one of the greatest examples of that. Being successful while not even caring too much. A lot of animes like to show us that it all depends on your mindset. And while even in real life the mindset matters a lot, there are still going to be some people that don't even care about succeeding that will succeed. And now I'm not saying that Gagamaru doesn't care about his success. What I'm trying to say is that Gagamaru doesn't show nowhere near as much motivation as Isagi, but is still able to perform on a world class level on a role that he didn't even play for a month. I've also seen some people trying to say that it was unrealistic for Gagamaru to be this good. Maybe not exactly this good, but it still makes sense for him to improve fast. It's like already having the perfect skill set and prerequisite to do something. Even if you start late, you already have everything you need to do it. Meaning that it's still going to be easier than somebody that's simply starting from the beginning. Now, if you wanna say that him being that good isn't realistic, we can also compare it to Isagi's development. Isagi is also evolving pretty fast. That's simply the way the anime is working. I don't think it's much problem with those two evolving. Is Gagamaru a boring character or is he actually very unique? Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of August, but only sub to my channel if you enjoy the content that I put out. Let's try to get this video to 200 likes for a Raichi Jingo video. And you can just tell me in the comment if you have any criticism or character suggestion for future videos. I will see you next time and peace.